A word, honesty. That's what this show is all about. We try to get it from our guests. And let's look at the issue of honesty in the media. It was reported in the Toronto media by a reporter that there were serious negotiations taking place for this guy, Eric Lindros, to be traded to the Toronto Maple Leafs in exchange for Matt Sundin. It was reported that those talks were taking place. Pat Quinn, the coach and the general manager of the Maple Leafs, has denied it outright. Let me quote from Pat Quinn. He says, it's, quote, intellectually dishonest, someone sitting back and creating something. There has been no discussion, period, nothing. Is there anything wrong with reporting a rumor that you have heard and not attributing it to a source? Absolutely yeah. not. No. Absolutely not. I think not. there is. Uh -oh. I think there is. Uh -oh. I, I think hate disagreeing with martial arts guy, but look, <laughs> sports is entertainment. The sports page is entertainment. I go, we, you know, we go to the newspaper, first thing we grab is the sports section. If I'm looking, trade rumors, flyers, uh, you know, Matt Sundin, I'm interested, man. Where's this guy man. getting it from, though? Who knows? Quentin where's it, so what? So that doesn't, doesn't give them a right to, to put, put somebody on the headlines when they have no idea what the hell they're talking about. Look, we said a rumor, right? This is not uh, totally made not up. Totally, yeah. In fact, the more the, la the, more the least rumor, and the flyers deny, who, the more probably it is true. A rumor right. by who? If Pat well, Quinn I think the reporter now comes to, on... You know, man, the reporter has to use his, his, his uh, uh, professional abilities then, I'd say. Yeah, his discretion, if, right? If Pat Quinn's coming on saying that it's not true, now if Pat Quinn, if uh, at the end of this we find out that it is true, then Pat Quinn is the liar. <laughs> and the reporter should be... You know, Matt Quinn can't but, say it's true. Yeah, Matt Sundin's got to play. He can't say it's true. Sometimes you well, want to hear it he, shouldn't, he, he should answer no comment and not say, open his big mouth and not say anything. But see, <laughs> sometimes like, or like higher organizations, they don't want you know, what they're doing in the back in their industry to be known. Like, I don't want the public to know what's going on inside of my business until we, quote, unquote, take it out and say, well, we want Matt Sundin, we want to trade, you know, until I say it. But if a reporter is getting that information, he wants to, you know what, it's a rumor. So let's get some stirred up here to see if that rumor is true. Yeah, but so, Peter, ha haven't you ignored the fact that the lives that people are living in the sports section are just as valuable as the lives in the front section? Exactly. And when you report stuff and when you say stuff that is hurtful, it's just as hurtful to them well, as human beings. What's, hurt, what's hurtful about a trade? In, in professional sport, are you telling me that a professional player is not prepared every time he steps on the ice to either not skate uh, be traded. It's part of the deal. That you know, like they're making millions and millions of dollars in in, in hockey, partly because it is not a secure. Uh, you know, like they're right. they're not I, working on a factory but line. Reporters you know, this is part of the, the deal. Facts straight. They, like there's so many reporters talking so much garbage out there. Well, in, if, in every day, maybe like, if the Toronto sports teams and some of the right. sports teams were a little more forthcoming with the media. They, you know, well, they wouldn't have they to be, be digging exactly. it out of the locker room. But the exactly. fact is, if the media waited around for everything, everything would be a press conference. Right. Nobody bothered to read the sports page, you know? Uh, like, uh, like I, I would not agree, like, a, a Pat Quinn saying, that, oh, they're not honest when he's not being honest himself. I mean, if that's the case, then, then Pat, we should look at Pat Quinn. Right. But otherwise, I don't think anybody should be able to take my life or your life or your life and, and start talking bull about it because right. they don't know. It's well, all about true, honesty. Though. Yeah, but what and, is honesty, though? Well, what is honesty in pro sports? Was Wade Phillips wrong to tell Doug Flutie, you will not lose your starting position just because you're not going to start for the final game of the season. You will have your job back. He then watches Rob Johnson play, and we'll assume makes the decision himself that Rob Johnson is his guy. Is honesty a factor, given the fact that he told Flutie he wouldn't lose his job? Honesty has no place in sports. Look, I hate that decision. I was, I was happy Buffalo lost, because I think the, the football god said, you know, you can't do that to a wonderful athlete, but these guys are getting paid to play. Big but that's cash. screwed up the at whole At any team. second, that's you've got to be able to pull team. an athlete at any time. You've got to have honesty, man. Just gotta, you have to have honesty. If you don't have honesty on a team or any function, it's <laughs> going right. to fall apart. If I don't trust or have honesty, say, look, coach, what's the game plan? Well, honestly, Byron, the game plan is to go in with the defense, shut them out, and let's go on and get the offense put up 40 points a game. That is honesty. Now, if you come and say, well, Honesty, and then come game time, well, Byron, um, we're just going to lay down. What does that do to what the does rest that do of the team? No, 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 but look. What does that do to the rest of honesty? the team? I mean, what is honesty is saying? This guy, here's Doug Flutie. He took the team 11 and 2. Right, I'm not agreeing with the decision. I'm just saying anything that coaches can use to get a player to play better. Like, maybe for you, mm -hmm. honesty is right. All right. If I'm saying, look, you're playing like a bag of 
out. I'm going to sit you if you don't play better. But maybe I, that, but maybe you're a real sensitive guy, and I got to, I got to lie yeah, to you. Yeah, maybe in a regular season, but you don't do that going yeah, no, into I, a I, playoff game. I hate the decision too. The guy's eleven and two. I mean, what is? How are you going to just sit a guy down? Okay, honestly, we're going to sit you down. You know, we just to rest you up for the next week. You know, game. I bet uh, honestly, at the time, that's probably what he had in mind. So if it, if he had that in mind. Let's give Wade Phillips the benefit of the doubt, that okay. he did say to Doug Flutie, you're not going to lose your starting job. Mm -hmm. Then he watches Rob Johnson play, and he sees something in Johnson. And as a coach, it is his job to go from his gut and make a decision as to how his team can win. Is he wrong to have gone back on his word? No. But why didn't they put him, back, why didn't they put him in in the second half? Instead, uh, at least put him in in the second half. Okay, I agree with that. I don't want to see... Hold on, hold on. You agree with that? But no, no, but no. Did you not watch the same game I did? Rob yeah, Johnson but... actually had the team in a position to win. Yeah. It was not his fault that they returned the kick for a no. touchdown. But see, the thing about it, see, I disagree with his idea of sitting Flutie. But the thing is, as a professional sport, you want the momentum going in. And it seemed like he had the momentum. That's understandable. But he was honest, you know, he was saying honest, you know, honestly didn't play a factor because one, he told Doug this, and then he sent him, you know. But as a coach, they want the momentum because any momentum going into the playoff, you're going to do well. But, yeah, you know, and then when he got in there, it backfired. I don't even think amateur sport's honest. I don't know why we should ask professional sport to be honest. Let's talk football. Let's make it a football issue right now.